In this video, we're going to be doing a couple simple examples about how to find the area of a trapezoid. And the area formula we're going to be using, and the area formula we always use to find the area of a trapezoid, is area A is equal to 1 half times quantity one of the bases plus the other base, so the length of both bases added together, multiplied by h, the height. So let's unpack that a little bit. First of all, what do we mean by trapezoid? Let's be specific here. We're talking about a four-sided figure, so it's a quadrilateral, and two of the sides of a trapezoid are always parallel. The other two sides are not parallel. So if we look at this first example here, what we can say is that these two sides are parallel with one another. These two slanted sides are not parallel. So a trapezoid has to have two parallel sides and two non-parallel sides. So these opposite sides are going to be parallel. These opposite sides are not going to be parallel. And in that special case, we call it a trapezoid. And the way that we find the area is by adding the lengths of the bases together. The bases are always going to be the parallel sides, not the non-parallel sides. So you're looking for the parallel sides. Those will be the bases. You want to add their lengths together. You want to multiply by the height, the distance between the parallel sides. And you want to divide by 2 or multiply by 1 half. Same thing. So in this first example here with this trapezoid, we're going to say area is equal to one half times the sum of the lengths of the bases. Well, if we look at the two parallel sides here, we've already been told that their lengths are seven and nine. So we're gonna say seven plus nine. And then we're gonna multiply by the height or the distance between the two bases. This is not the slant height. Notice that we've been given here the slant height of four. So the length of this slanted side is four. That's completely irrelevant to finding the area of the trapezoid. The only height we're interested in is the length directly between the two parallel sides. So this length right here. And we've been told that that length is three. So we're gonna go ahead and multiply by three. So when we simplify this, we're gonna get area is equal to seven plus nine is gonna be 16. 16 divided by two or times one half is gonna be eight. And eight times three is gonna be 24. So we're gonna say that the area is 24 square units. What about this second example here? We have this trapezoid, it's a four-sided figure. What we can see is that these two sides here are parallel, and these two sides here, the two vertical sides, are not parallel. So again, when we wanna find the area, we're gonna say area is gonna be one half times the sum of the parallel sides, the lengths of the parallel sides, in this case two and four, so two plus four, and then we want to multiply by the height. And again, it's not slant height, so we've been told that the slant height here is five, but that's irrelevant because we just want the distance between the two parallel sides, and in that case, it's two. We've been told that that height is two. So we go ahead and multiply by two, and then we're going to get, when we simplify, area is equal to two plus four. We always do what's inside the parentheses first. Two plus four is six. Six times two is 12. 12 divided by two is six, so we get an area of six square units. Looking at the last example here, the orientation of this trapezoid is a little bit different because the parallel sides are not the top and bottom. The parallel sides are the left and the right side. But that really doesn't make any difference. We're still going to do the area formula the same way. So the area is going to be 1 half times the lengths of the parallel sides added together. Those are the two bases, so 25 and 40, because the left and right hand sides are parallel. Then we want to multiply by the height. So if you think about this, right, we want the distance for the height. We want the distance between the parallel sides. So we're interested in this distance right here. Well, we know that's not going to be the slant height of 25, but because we've been told that we have right angles or 90 degree angles, Right here, we know that this distance, 20, is the distance directly between the two bases, so that's going to be the height of the trapezoid. So then we'll simplify and we'll say area is going to be equal to 25 plus 40 is going to be 65. 65 times 20 is going to be 1300. 1300 divided by 2 is going to give us 600. 50, so we can say that the area is 650 square units. Sometimes we're given the vertices or the four corners of the trapezoid, and we need to find the area of the trapezoid defined by these four corners. The easiest way to go about doing this is to graph the four points on a coordinate system like this to get a picture of the trapezoid and make sure that we've got the correct bases and the correct height. So plotting these points, point one zero, we go out to one, but stay along the x-axis here. So one zero. We have the point five zero. So we come out to 
five zero and we plot that point. Five five is going to be all the way in the upper right hand corner here and one three we come out to one and then up to three and we get this point right here and then we just want to go ahead and connect those with four lines. So now that we've got a picture of our trapezoid, what we notice is that the top and bottom sides are not parallel. The left and the right hand sides are parallel. So this is going to be similar to the third example we did here. So we can say that these sides are parallel. We also know that we have 90 degree angles right here. So really similar to this problem. So we need the lengths of the two parallel sides. So area is going to be one half times the sum of the bases. So here we have one, two, three, the length of this side is three, so we get three plus, and the length of the other side, we can say one, two, three, four, five, so the length of that side is five, and we know that, right, because this first side, it starts at zero and it goes up to y equals three, so we know that the length is three. Same thing here, we start at the x-axis with y equals zero, and we go up to a height of y equals five, so the height there is five. So we have one half times quantity three plus five, and then we're interested in the height, or the distance between these two bases here. And we know that the height is going to be, since these are right angles here, the distance between this point and this point. So we can say 1, 2, 3, 4. So the height of this trapezoid is going to be 4. And of course we can figure that out because this point here starts at 1, x equals 1, and goes out to x equals 5, and 5 minus 1 is going to be 4. So here's our area, and when we simplify we can say area is equal to, calculating the value inside the parentheses first, 3 plus 5 is going to give us 8, 8 times 4 is going to give us 32, 32 divided by 2 is going to give us 16, so we get an area of 16 square units. And those are just a couple examples about how to find the area of a trapezoid.